Shabbat Shalom, my dear community. I'd like to dedicate this video sermon to the memory of Rosie Behar, Rezel Bas Yitzchak. This week's Torah portion begins with Bahaloscha Alaneros, when you will kindle the candles, the mitzvah that Aaron the high priest had to kindle the candles. Now the word Bahalotcha does not mean to kindle. You women all know that when you make the blessing on Shabbat, you don't say Lahalot Nera Chavez Kodesh, you say Lahadlik. The same for all the men with Chanukah. So why does it say Bahalotcha Etanerot and not Lahadlik Etanerot? Bahalotcha means to bring up. Rashi tells us that the commandment is you shouldn't just kindle it and walk away. Just make sure that before you walk away, it can stand on its own. Normally, the Rebbe Blessed Memory would use this message to tell us that we need to be with those who need us until they can stand on their own. I'd like to, in memory of Rosie, take a different twist. I want to talk not about the person who kindles, but the person who is being kindled. My friends, there are special high priest souls that are sent to this world and they kindle other souls. And then, when their time comes, we're left thinking, oh my God, if we don't have Rosie to guide us, to kindle us, how? How can we go on? And here I want to say the message of the verse is different. We need to know that these high priest souls do their job. And if the time for Rosie to return her soul came, that means that her job is well done each and every one of us that she touched, especially you, Sabi, the children, Moshe, Joel, Daniel, the sisters, Elena, Sylvia, each and every one of us, we need to know that Rosie did not leave a job undone. We have been kindled to the point that we can stand on our own. Not only that, we even have the strength to kindle others. Shabbat Shalom.